These are a coalition of activist group. They are in the Abuja city center to register their displeasure over what they term the increasing rate of senseless killings in the country. Walking through the streets, these Nigerians are insisting that enough is enough. These parkers carrying different inscription, they say their aim was to speak to President Buhari. But on getting to the road leading to the presidential villa, the police had formed a human barrier. <laughs> And when it was obvious that seeing the president would be a heckling tax, the protesters resolved to push him forward their demands. The major demand is the removal of service chiefs, whom the claimed have failed to safeguard the lives and properties of Nigerians. Well, if the officers in Meduguri protested because they have not been paid their salaries and allowances, so we're saying, how do Nigerians expect to be secure when the people who are meant to secure us don't have the resources to do so? Number one. Number two, we talk about numbers. 40 dead in Plateau, 50 dead in Zamfara, 60 dead. They're human beings. They have lives. We want, num we want government to humanize Nigerians that are dying. There are like five or six different sources of data because the federal government itself is not keeping data. Number three, if the security officers, the people protesting, indicted, indicted the IG of police, so obviously there's a problem. So if the service chiefs are not able to do the work they've been hired to do, let them go and replace them. It's not complicated. It's not complicated. And that's it, really. We're here to say that Nigerians' life matters. And the killings must stop. The killings must stop. You can't have a government who's responsible. The constitution says it clearly. The role of the government of security and welfare of the people. So at the time where you're not securing the people, you're failing in your constitutional responsibility. It's really that simple. And Niger Nigerians will have their rights. Today is the Federal Executive Council. President is there, Vice President is there, all the governors are there, all the ministers are there, all the service chiefs are there. That's why we chose the Wednesday. So that all of them in one place can hear and hear when. Because it doesn't seem that they're hearing. How many more Nigerians? How many more? How many more? And they say, oh, we're trying. Then the President says, we should pray. But we're all praying. Well, as we know, we're a very religious society, Muslim, Christian. Praying is not our problem. We need action. Because even in the Quran and the Bible, it talks about you not only pray, you act. So now we're saying act. And the President is not acting. By that, some of these protesters were quick to profess solution to the blood letter. It is clear to us that something is broken in this country. Um, how can so much blood flow and yet nothing seems to be done? We have a government whose primary responsibility as enshrined in our constitution is the protection of people. And yet people are dying. And because people are dying and nothing is happening, there's impunity, it is stoking our existing tensions. It is playing to all the things that divide us. So we have to ask of the people that were elected. It's, it's a grief moment for the country generally where, you know, the life of cows, animals have been valued um, than the life of humans. Um, as far as Nigeria is concerned. The killing is becoming very abnormal. There is no killing that is normal anyway, but, but right now it's becoming like a, a normal thing which Nigerians really don't care about. You hear the killings of 100, 200, and people just take them for granted. And we're here to say, look, these are lives of human beings, and the life of every Nigeria is important. The life of every Nigerian matters. Nobody knew that Buhari would grow one day and become the president. And so who know one of the Nigerian presidents they, that they've just killed from this reckless killing somewhere around Nigeria today. And we're saying that we're alive today, it's because we've not been killed. The people who were killed yesterday didn't know the day before yesterday that they were going to be killed. And so we are speaking right now, we don't know that if we're going to be killed today. And so people who are living right now are also not too sure. And so we're speaking to the government. The primary responsibility of every government is the lives and property of its citizens. The rights activists say the protests will continue until the president